Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter, and we're here at the Gloucester Marine Railways working on the Tea Party ships. Since the last episode, as you can see, we've made significant progress on the uh, bulwarks. Uh, the bulwarks is this part of the ship right here, and it goes from the deck level, which is the deck line that's here, up, and it's kind of like the railing uh, or a fence that's alongside the, uh, the deck. The material that we've been using for planking the bulwarks is what they call heart pine. This happens to be salvage material, and one of the reasons that we use the salvage material is that it's better than what you can get out of the forest today. This particular type of tree was uh, nearly harvested to extinction around the turn of the century, or at least the, uh, the larger trees were all harvested uh, to make uh, factory buildings uh, in the Northeast. So when they take down these buildings, we salvage the uh, material, and what we come up with is a very dry, very dense, this is heart pine, and it comes up to about 20 uh, annual rings per inch, and uh, which is much better than uh, material that you can get out of the forest today, which is more like something like this. Well, one of the main reasons we go to this material is because it's dry, it's very stable. Uh, we don't get any shrinkage, uh, especially in the bulwarks, which is an area of the ship that's going to be quite dry, being it's uh, well above the water line. In our previous episodes, we showed you how we uh, set the stanchions and we fared them. And then around the base, of course, was where we uh, put the pine in. And this is all finished now, where we painted over the pine wedges. Uh, so these have all been fared. Uh, we've got the shape of the vessel. This matches up with the shape of the rest of the hull and just continues that shape on up till we get to the trim. Uh, this is a molding here. And then on top of that will be another piece of uh, planking, which is called a hance. And then on top of that will be another molding. And then we'll have our rail cap. We'll go beyond the next piece. Where well, we've got uh, two and a half inches of hull planking, the, the bulwarks is much lighter. So we're about an inch and a half here for the, uh, for the bulwark planking. Uh, what Rob is doing here is we have to put a pattern, make a pattern for the next plank. Uh, these planks will change shape. They get, gradually get wider as we go aft. And this process is called spiling. Uh, first we put a batten up here. We make sure that the batten's fair. And then we have to take measurements out of, off of each section of this. And then we'll plot those again on the plank and cut the plank out to those measurements. And that will fit the plank onto the uh, bulwarks here. As we're planking up on the starboard side, we've already started to fair the uh, stanchions on the port side. Uh, once we get these stanchions fared and get them in line with the, uh, the hull, where we get a clean line coming up from the hull, then we'll start planking on the port side. Well, Joff is doing some putty work on the uh, transom there. And as you can see, uh, it's been quite a transformation. Uh, it's significantly different from what we had before. It's much more historically accurate. And uh, I think it's uh, something by the time we get done with it, uh, we can be very proud of it. Well, by next week, we should have quite a few planks on this side of the uh, bulwarks. Uh, so check in with us again, and we'll show you what we've been up to.